three. And we're here at the Buddha Center in Second Life, sitting under the Bodhi tree. And we can see Buddha in the background over here at the waterfall. some flowers over here and some pink trees, sakura trees over here. And so it is a very nice place for remembrance of the Dhamma. And we just finished uh, the daily contemplations, the Vandanas, the Buddha and the Dhamma and the Sangha Vandana. And so, for this third and final video of Pali chanting under the Bodhi tree, we're going to be doing the Pali and the English of the Mahamangala Sutta and the Ratana Sutta or the Ratana Sutta. And we're just gonna, I'm just gonna have to do my best and see how it goes. Um, this is gonna be the first time reading a sutta in both Pali and English. Uh, live anyway. So, here we go. And please make sure that you grab the text from the video. Uh, the link should be below. And we're going to be starting off with the Mahamangala Sutta, the Pali uh, version, to the English version, and then the Ratana Sutta, Pali and English. Okay, so let's get comfy. Oh, you can see a little bit of the northern lights over there. If, if we go like this, I should be fine. It's a little bit too close. If we can go like this. No, I think that's, that's going to be fine. Okay. So I'm going to jump over the, to the text here. Let's just see. It looks fine from here. Okay. So let's do some reading. The Mahamangala Sutta. Ewang me sutang ekang samayang pakawa sawatiyang wiha. Rati Jetawane Anata Pintikasa Arame Atako Anatara Dewata Apikantaya Ratia Apikanta Wana Kewala Kapang Detawanang Basitwa Yena Pakawa Tinupasak Tenu pasang kami upasam kami kami tua bakawatang bakawa bakawantam api watitwa ekaman ekamangtam atasi. Eka mat eka mantang eka mantam titako sa tewata bakawan bakawan tam kataya atja atja 
Basi Bahu Dewa Manusaja Mangalani Achintayum Achintayum Akan Kamana Suttanang Bruhi Mangala Muttamang Muttamam Okay, so let me just see if M Patirupa desa waso japube jakata punyata atta sama paniti jaetang mangala mutamang mutamang bahu sejang cak sipang ja wing winga Wing ya yo cha susikito su pasita cha ya wacha etang mangala mutang mata pito upa upa tanang putta tarasa sanko Ana kula cha ka manta etang mangala muta mang muta mang tanang cha tamma charya cha nyata kanang cha sangko sangkaho Anna wajani kamani etang mangkala mutana arati wirati papa majapan papa majapana ja sanyamo apamado ja dameso etang mangkala mutana Garawo cha niwato cha Santuti cha keta nyuta Kalena tamma sawanang etang mangkala mutanang Kati cha sowa sowa cha sowa cha Sata Sammanang Sammananang Jatta Sanang Kalena Dhamma Sakka Cha Etang Mangala Muttanang Tapo Cha Brahman Cha Diyang Cha Arya Satchana Tasanang Nibana Sachi Kiriya Cha Etang Mangala Muttanang Putta Puttasa Loka Tapnehi Chitang Yasa Nakampati Asukang Uirajang Kemana Kemang etang mangkala mutanang Eta tisani ketuana Satpatana Marapak jita Satpatana Sukting kecanti Tang tesang mangkala mutamanti So that was 
the Mang Mahamangala Sutta, a discourse on the blessing. And that was how, or I mean, the closest thing that I could get to the language of the Buddha. And now we go ahead and read the English version. Discourse on the Blessings Thus have I heard, on one occasion the exalted one was dwelling at the monastery of Anathapintika in Jeta's grove, near Sawati. Now, the, now, when the night was far spent, a certain Tevata, that was what is said in the Pali version, this said a certain deity, so and we know that a Tevata is a female Teva. So this must have been one of the times where a, dewa, in a, fema, a Tevata comes to visit the Buddha. Let's just see what happens. Now, when the night was far spent, a certain de Tevata, whose surpassing splendor il illuminated the entire Jeta grove, came to the presence of the Exalted One, and, drawing near, respectfully salutated him, stood at one side. Standing thus, he addressed the Exalted One in verse. Many deities and men, yearning after good, have pondered on blessings. Pray, tell me the highest blessing. Asked the Devata and the Buddha. Uh, this is not clear from the text, but the Buddha answers. Not to associate with fools, to associate with the wise, and to honor those who are worthy of honor. This is the highest blessing. To recite in suitable locality, to have done meritorious actions in the past, and to set oneself in the right course. This is the highest blessing. Vast learning, perfect handicraft, and highly trained discipline, and pleasant speech. This is the highest blessing. The support of father and mother, the cherishing of wife and children, and peaceful occupations. This is the highest blessing. Liberality, righteous conduct, the helping of relatives and blameless actions. This is the highest blessing. To abstain, to cease and abstain from evil, forbearance with respect to intoxicants, and steadfast uh, and steadfastness in virtue and being steadfast in virtue this is the highest blessing reverence humility contentment gratitude and the opportune hearing of dhamma this is the highest blessing. So you have to be opportunistic in getting to hear the Dhamma and seek out the Dhamma as often and as many times as you can. I'm sorry to interrupt our study, but I think it was Rahula, the son of the Buddha, who or maybe it was another monk, novice monk, at the time of the Buddha. I think it was the Ra it would have been the monk Rahula, who said, or he took a, his hand and he scooped up a whole handful of sand, and then he, he wished. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure who it was. I think might have been Rahula. I'm pretty sure. And then he said, May I have today as many words 
as many words with my teacher as there are grains of sand in my hand. And so that's an image or a kind of a um, metaphor, metaphorically speaking, of how we should um, be opportune in seeking the Dhamma out and hearing the Dhamma as it is the highest blessing and finishing off with the discourse on the blessings patience obedience sight of the samanas and religious discussion at two se seasons this is the highest blessing self-control holy life Perception of the noble truths and the realization of Nibbana. This is the highest blessing. He whose mind does not flutter by contact with worldly contingencies, sorrowless, stainless, and secure. This is the highest blessing. To them, fulfilling matters such as these, everywhere invincible in every way moving happily these are the highest blessings sadhu 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 and that was the Mahamangala Sutta in Pali and English and so I'm gonna try and do the Ratana Sutta as well because it's an awesome Sutta which I haven't studied before definitely not in this way I mean I know the Sutta and I've heard it but I haven't made any video about it and so let's, let's get on with the Ratana Sutta as well first Pali chanting and then the English version so, in the language of the Buddha, the Ratana Sutta, Yanita Puttani Sammakatani Pumani Vaya Niwa Antalike Sapewa Puta Sumana Pawantu Atobi Sa Gaja Sunat Sunantu Basitang Tal Tasmahi Putani Sameta Sape Metang Karota Manusia Pachaya Tiwaja Ratoja Haranti ye palim Tasmahi ne Rakata Appamata Yang Kinchi witang Ita wa hurang wa Sake su wa Yang Ratanang pantitang Nano Samang Atti Tatake Tatakatena Itampi Putte Ratanang Panitang Etena Satjena Suwati Hotu Kayang Virakang Amatang Panitang Yataja Yatta Chaka Sakyamuni Sam Samahito Natena Damena Samati Kinji Itampi Dame Ratanam Panitam Etena 
Satyena Suwati Hoto Yamputa Sito Pari Wan Pari Wan Nayi Suchim Suchim Samadi Manam Tarikancha Mahu Samadina Tena Sammo Na Vijati Itampi Tamme Ratanam Panitam Etena Satchena Suwati Hotu Ye Pukala Atta Satam Pasata Chattari Etani Yugani Hunti Te Takinea Sukatasa Sawaka Ete Su Tinani Mahapalani Itampi Sanke Ratang Panitang Panitam Etena Satchena Suwati Hoto Ye Supa Yutta Manasa Dalhena Nikamino Kota Sasanami Te Patipata Amatam Wikaya Latta Muta Ni Uting Pujamna Itampi Sanke Ratanam Pantitam Etena Sachena Suwati Hotu Yati Yatinta Kilo Pat Patawin Sito Sia Jatupi Watepi Asampa Kampio Tatu Pamang Sapuri Sang Watami Yo Aria Sachan Aweja Pasati Itampi Sanke Ratanang Patitam Etam Satchena Suwati Hotu Ye Adia Satchani Wipa Wipayanti Wipayan Wipaya Yanti Wipa wa yanti. Okay, so I'm going to start this this one, this line uh, over. Ye aria satchani. Wipa wa yanti. Kampira panyena sute sitani. Kinchapi te hunti pusap. Usa Pamada Nate Bawang Atang Atamang Atianti Itampi Sanke Ratanam Panditam Itana Sachena Suwati Hoto Sahawasa Tasana Sampadaya Tayasu Tama Jahita Bawanti Sakaya Dit Sakaya Diti Wichikichi Tang Cha Silapatang Wapi Yatati Kinchi Chatu Hapeye Hi Cha Wipamuto Cha Chapi Tanani Apabo Katun Itampi Sanke Ratam Pantitam Etena Sachena Suwati Hoto Kinchapi So Kama Karuti papam, papakam, kayena wacha uta setasa wa, 
Atapo so datsa Paticha daya Appa Pata Tita Pasat Patasa Buddha Idampi Sanke Ratam Nang Panitam Etaina Satjena Su Wati Hodo Wanna Pak Gumbe Yata Pus Pusitake Kimana Masse Patamasin Kimhe Tatupamam Dhamma Waram Are Sai Nipanakami Paramam Paramam Hitaya Irampi Bhutte Ratanam Panitam Itena Satjena Suvati Hoto Waru Wa Waru Wa I'm sorry Waru Waranyu Warato Waraharo Anuttaro Dhamma Warang Ate Sai Irampi Bhutte Ratanam Panitam Itena Satjena Suvati Hoto Kinang Puranam Nawam Niti Sampawam Virta Chitta Ayatike Pawasim Pawasmim Tekina Picha Awirul Li Chanta Nipanti Dira Yatta Yang Patipo Dampi Sanke Ratanang Panitang Itena Satjena Suwati Hoto Yanita Putani Samaketani Pumani Ya Yaniwa Antalike Tataketang Dewa Manusa Pujitang Putang Nama Sama Suwati Hoto Yanita Bhutani, Sammakatani, Pumani, Wa Yaniwa Antalike, Tatakatang Dewa, Manusa Pujatang, Tamang Nas Namasasama, Suwati Hoto. Yani Bhutani, Sammakatani, Pumani, Wa Yaniwa Antalike Tataketang Dewa Manusa Pujitang Sangkang Namasas Namasama Suwati Hoto Sadhu 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 That was the Pali version as best as I could do and that was of the Ratana Sutta and let's go right into the English version and finish this video off with understanding what we just went through um, and so to those brave ones of you still hanging on to this video here we go. Translation of the Dual Discourse. This discourse was delivered by the Buddha in the city of Vesali, whose citizens appealed to the Buddha for help, being afflicted by famine, pestiline, pestiline, and disturbances from evil spirits. As a mark of protection for the people of Vesali, the Buddha delivered this discourse, after which the evil spirits were exorcised 
and the pestilence subsided. Whatever beings are here assembled, whether terrestrial, 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 or celestial, may they all be happy. Moreover, may they attentively listen to my words. Accordingly, give good her, give good heed, all ye beings. Show your love to the human beings who day and night bring offerings to you. Wherefore, guard them zealously. Whatever treasure there may be here or in the world beyond, or whatever precious jewel in the precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. The tranquil sage of the Sakyas realized that cessation, passion free, immortality supreme, there is not comparable with the Dhamma. Verily, in the Dhamma is this precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. Mm -hmm. So, for the sake of translation, I think we should clarify what it means that there is a, pre uh, a precious jewel in the Dhamma. As we see, this sutta is translated as the jewel discourse, and so usually we refer to the three jewels as being the Buddha, and the Dhamma, and the Sangha. And they are jewels because they are an immeasurable field of merit for the world and all of the beings. Continuing on. That sanctity praised by the Buddha. Uh, that sanctity praised by the Buddha Supreme is described as concentration without interruption. There is not like that concentration. Verily, in the Dhamma is this precious, precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. Those eight individuals praised by the virtuous constitute four pairs. They are worthy of offerings, the disciples of the welcome one. To these gifts given yield abundant fruit. Verily, in the Sankha is this precious jewel. And so we see here how it is that the Buddha and the Dhamma and the Sangha is like a precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. The steadfast mind, applying themselves thoroughly in the dispensation of Gotama, Gotama is a name for the Buddha, our present uh, Buddha Gotama. His name before he became a Buddha was Siddhartha Gotama. So it's a clan name or family name, the good Gautama. With, with steadfast mind, applying themselves thoroughly in the dispensation of Gautama, the Buddha, exempt from passion, they have attained to that which should be attained, and plunged into the deathless, where they enjoy peace obtained without price. Verily, in the Sangha is this precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. Just as a firm post sunk in the earth cannot be shaken by the four winds, even so do I declare him to be a righteous person, even so do I declare him to be a righteous person who thoroughly perceives the noble truths, the four noble truths. Verily, in the Sangha is this precious jewel. 
By this truth, may there be happiness. Those who comprehend clearly the no Four Noble Truths, well taught by him of wisdom deep, do not, however, exceeding, uh, exceeding heedless they may be, undergo an eighth birth. So, even uh, so, someone who has comprehended clearly for themselves, they have seen for themselves the four noble truths, well taught by him uh, of wisdom deep, referring to the Buddha, they do not, however exceedingly heedless they may be, so if they don't even meditate or don't even seek out the Dhamma, they will not undergo an eighth birth. And this means that they have attained to Suttapati, or uh, the, the fruition of the Suttapana, as they have a maximum of seven, li birth, seven births uh, left in samsara. to uh, add something to the short version here. Verily, in the Sangha is this precious jewel, and by this truth may there be happiness. For him, with the acquisition of insight, three conditions come to naught, namely, self-illusion, doubt, and indulgence in wrongful rites and ceremonies, should there be any, um, like old habits, uh, like rites and ceremonies, <coughs> from the four states of misery he is absolutely freed and is incapable of committing the six heinous crimes. Verily, in the Sangha is this precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. Whatever evil deed he does, whether by deed, word, or thought, he is incapable of hiding it. For it hath been seen, for it hath been said, that such an act is impossible for one who has seen the path. Verily, in the Sangha is this precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. Like unto the woodland groves with pleasant treetops in the, f in the first heat of the summer, ha hath the sublime doctrine that leads to Nibbana been taught for the highest good. Verily, in the Buddha this precious jewel. Verily, in the Buddha is this precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. The unrivaled excellent the unrivaled excellent one, the knower, the giver, and the bringer of the excellent has expounded the excellent doctrine. Dhamma. Verily, in the Buddha is this precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. Their past is extinct. A fresh becoming there is not. Their minds are not attached to a future birth. Their desires grow not. Those wise ones go out even as this lamp. Verily, in the Sangha is this precious jewel. By this truth may there be happiness. We beings here assembled, whether terrestrial 
or celestial. Salute the accomplished Buddha, honored by gods and men. May there be happiness. We beings here assemble, whether terrestrial or celestial, salute the accomplished Dhamma, honored by, the, by gods and men. May there be happiness. We beings here assemble, whether terrestrial or celestial, salute the accomplished Sangha, honored by gods and men. May there be happiness. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. And I just wish I could um, stand up and do mindful prostration to this tree. But unfortunately there is no, um, you have to have like a, a, in, a button of interaction to perform um, mindful prostration. Uh, and so there is not no uh, way that I could do that. And so I'm just going to have to let my avatar sit there even though I would like him to rise from his seat and perform um, uh, mindful frustration. And so, anyways, that is the Ratana Sutta. And we made it through both the Mahamangala Sutta Pali in English and the Ratana Sutta Pali in English and let's see how long this recording is so this is go this is one of the longer ones 42 minutes and uh, thank you so much for listening and may there be happiness hereby Oh, I just realized I might be able to do somebody sent me something. If I do like this, Casa. Oh okay, so it doesn't really work with my avatar. I can just do it three times here. Okay, so no, he just won't move. He just doesn't want to make mindful prostration here at the foot of the Bodhi tree. So we're gonna let that guy just sit over there under the tree peacefully. And uh, thank you for watching and may you find true peace, happiness and freedom from suffering.